am back pal so we're gonna have an update video today we're gonna go over the sp500 how the sp500 actually crashed this morning then it quickly reversed that has some effects of the non-farm payroll that we got on friday with tomorrow which is very big news we're gonna go over we're gonna go over tesla stock tesla stock's a monster what level i believe if it breaks is gonna be going to the moon it's already going to the moon i'll update you guys on amc like i've seen in the comments i'll update you guys on mother like i see in the comments i'll also go over rivian huge crash i think a big opportunity on rivian is coming us as well so let's go ahead and go over all these smash that like button subscribe if you're new Let's get the video over 30 likes within that first hour. If you guys can do that, I'll post another video for you guys later today. Make sure you comment the stocks you guys want me to go over in the comment section down below, okay? But the first one, let's go over the SP500 real quick. Now, also, on the team, we did not lose any scalps this week, right? Scalps is what I do to bring consistent profit. We lost zero. You don't believe me? Join the team and go ask them. They know very well, right? I don't really show it off a lot because I want you to join because you actually want to join. But I'm going to start showing profits and I'm going to start showing money, okay? Because the stocks room is about to be closed, right? You won't be able to join. So that's when I'll show you after that, okay? But we won every play. I'll show you that as well. SP500 did reverse today, midday. Remember, we got non-farm tomorrow in pre-market. So really trading tomorrow is not really high reward. I'm not trading tomorrow. It's just not worth it. But we are at that resistance level again right around 425, right? We hit it once right here. We came down. We hit it again right here and we're trying to stall out again so kind of watch that we need to break that resistance level to even have any significant type of movements to the higher side but that's not only the resistance level we have we have another one at like maybe 426 to 427 then we have another one at like 429 so for me to really turn bullish and actually start playing upside calls and stuff like that we got to break about 430 okay that's just kind of what I'm looking at for the SP500. But so far, I'm still bearish. I'm still expecting that 418 support uh, to break on the lower side and looking for SPY to go around 414. So that's your still current current levels. Now we can go over AMC real quick. AMC is not really doing much. I'm not really looking to play AMC. We've been too profitable and I don't want to hurt that with playing AMC. So I really haven't been looking at AMC too much. AMC could still reach up to about $9.50. Kind of just add it in here as you guys did want to update on it. I would say resistance on AMC is probably like around $8.60, so you can watch that. GameStop obviously crashed a lot as well. And then new support, also a buying level, is probably like around $8. And those are your concurrent levels right now for AMC. And right now, it just seems like AMC might want to be going up to that $9.50, okay? We'll also go over Mullen real quick. Mullen buying level was at 43 cents. Kind of just been stalling out there. It hasn't broken. So, so far, I could see Mullen going up to about 52 cents on the high side. But if it breaks that, then you probably want to stay away from it. It is a pity stock, so just be mindful of that. Um, Yeah, that's the only really level I see on there, buying level and support. And then, like, uh, where I think it might go is around 52-ish cents for now. Then, let's talk about Rivian. Rivian had a big crash, okay? Offering... They did a debt offering in line with trust analyst expectations. That's why you're seeing this zoop. This is why I also say we're in very risky markets. Remember what I told you guys? I wasn't looking to buy Rivian unless we broke this resistance level at $24. We never broke it. It tested it here, never broke. Tested it here, never broke. We never actually pushed above and like left it, right? That is a consideration of breakage. So I never bought and good thing we didn't because now Rivian is down over 21% within two days, which is good, right? That saved us losing on all that. Also, let me show you something real quick. I'll show you guys all the plays we did this week from October 2nd. That is Monday. We did a Bank of America put option play, about 10% gain. That was the only play I did that day. That was a win. October 3rd, we did an IWM put option play. I think that was about a 15 to 17% gain after you average out all of them. That was another win. That's the only play I did on October 3rd. October 4th, I did a Disney put option play. That was about, I think, about 14, 15% average in. That was the only play I did on October 4th. And then today, did another Disney put option play. Got about 20% gain on that one. That was the only play I did. So only did about four plays this week. Won every single one of them. 100% win rate. The team is winning, right? Make sure you join personal training. Email me, willnala77 at gmail.com. You can join the free Forex Discord down there. We're going to be starting that soon. All you do is pay 30% when we win. There's no monthly. And then if you want all my stocks buys and all that stuff, um just go check the website okay but yeah we won every play this week having lost now now we're just going down guess what 
Where was I telling you guys I wanted Rivian to go for me to start buying on Rivian? $18, okay? $18 is where I wanted Rivian to go, and now it is about to hit that. So that is the only thing I am waiting on right now on Rivian stock is to hit that $18 mark. Once that is hit, then we're going to confirm if Rivian actually wants to start going up or doesn't want to go start going down because another significant thing of today was once it broke that support right here, it broke it and it never even tried to come back up there to test that at all. So that $20, $21 level support is done for. We're going to take support off right now because what we want to be focused on is that buying level, which is also a support right around $18. We're going to take off this resistance. It's irrelevant now. It never broke which is a good sign. That's why I try to give you all that so you don't get trapped in this big down movement here. I still have a target of Rivian of about $30. So, so far, everything is pretty much going as planned as I'm waiting for. I was waiting for the 18 buying level. Seems like we're going to get that hit. So that's the only thing I'm watching. So very simple. Whatever happens here will tell me more. Are we going to start getting that bounce? Are we going to just break right through it? Or are we going to probably trade sideways at this area? That's going to tell me if I buy Rivian, if I don't, or if I wait, okay? And even uh, Morgan Stanley, they was asked if it's time to buy Rivian. They say, yeah, but I don't really care what other people say. I want my own levels, right? There's always going to be analysts saying this is to buy this, this is to buy that, that to buy that. What do you believe the stock would do, right? So $18, that's kind of what I'm looking out for Rivian right now. Now let's go over Tesla stock. I'm kind of just going over some stocks that are on my mind. Tesla stock, remember, we have a support. We have a resistance. It is stalled out in these levels. If you could tell what Tesla did today, not much. Trade it down went up traded down came up and now it's going back down very sideways if you zoom out to the daily chart very sideways right here right so nothing too much to go on here if we break 265 i think tesla's going to the moon i think we'll be well over 280 i'll be getting call options buying more shares if we break support at 255 i think tesla might be testing to the 240s again okay i really want tesla to go to the 200 all the way down here we might not get that though. Tesla's a very strong stock, and I think it'll be well over all time highs, which is like, I think it's like four something. Yeah, 415 by 2025. And I have a target about 440 by 2025. That's over 100% type of gain. And I want to get very heavy call options on Tesla. I'm kind of just waiting. But if you want me to teach you personally, we have group one on one sessions. Will knowledge 7 center gmail.com is a thousand dollar one time fee, or you can split it up into two payments. The only way to join is by emailing me. I'll probably take five more people and then I'll close personal training as well because we're going to be uh, pushing Forex. And yeah, that's what kind of I'm looking out for Tesla stock. Like I said, we scalped every week this every day this week. We won every single one of them. Any of the stocks you guys want me to go over, make sure you comment it down below. There's also other stocks I'm watching like Apple. Apple's coming to a resistance. I believe if Apple breaks this 176 level of resistance, Apple will probably go to above 180. So kind of watch out for that. That might be something, a potential upside play that I am watching on Apple stock. We can also go over NVIDIA. NVIDIA has been very stalled, okay? NVIDIA had a crazy move, as you guys know, and it has not been moving. It has not really been moving since like June because June, look at the price it was at June, around 435. It's 447 right now. So it's just been going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. What we really want, okay, kind of like how Rivian looked. If we go back to Rivian, you see this right here? That's kind of what you want on the video. I'm not going to lie. You really want a big pull down on the video because that's going to be the time to get in the video. Right now, it's really not that time. And I'm kind of just waiting. What looks a little more juicier is maybe Intel and maybe AMD might be looking a little more juicier than the video because the video already had that significant run. It broke all time highs. AMD hasn't broken all time highs yet, which is 164. Intel hasn't broken all time highs yet, which is all the way up here at 68. So Intel might be producing the biggest gain. I am trying to watch um, Intel. I think I might be doing a big play on Intel soon, but NVIDIA has, right? So NVIDIA is cool, but NVIDIA will have to come back down to the threes for me to start wanting to build that again. Um, but yeah, I think the one that might be the best is probably Intel and you and uh, Intel I'm looking for about an over 100% gain. I'm just not ready to get Intel just yet. And also make sure you stay tuned for Enphase. Enphase is still breaking down. It hit my support level today. Almost perfect. I had a support at 112. The low of today was 112.42, so only 40 cents away from that. It hit support, and guess what it did? Shot up right after that, right? Almost hit that perfect. So still kind of waiting on Intel. I wanted to buy it today, but I'm kind of just slowly waiting. I'm also watching um, Bitcoin over here. Let me know if you guys want another video today. Make sure you smash that like button, um, subscribe, share the videos out. Let's get the channel over 30K subs. And then um, I'm also watching Bitcoin. Bitcoin's at a very tricky area. It did break resistance. That's the first good sign, but we're not getting that pressure just yet, right? 
So I did buy a little Bitcoin, but I think Bitcoin get well over 100,000. It also has me looking at other crypto stocks like Coinbase. We got Mara. We got Riot. We got Hut. All these can be a lot of potential plays as well to the higher side. So just stay tuned for those. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. Make sure it's the right one. And always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye.